Uh, still on Singapore, you should take note, more COVID-19 infections are expected. The country has been reporting a thousand new infections every day over the past week. The health ministry says the Omicron variant BA275 is making up a quarter of these cases. Our symptoms do not seem more severe and so far there has been no significant impact on the healthcare system. Even so, more infections are being reported this week. They now make up 10% of all cases compared to 6% at the start of the month. Still, the ministry says this makes up only a small number of new infections. It's urging people to get their second boosters if they have not already done so. Joining us with more is Dr. Leong Ho Nam, infectious diseases specialist from Rofi Clinic at Mount Elizabeth Novena Hospital. Dr. Leong, uh, Leong, my first question to you was how severe is the BA275 Omicron variant, especially since some preliminary reports suggest that the sub lineage of this variant, BA275-2, could be the most vaccine resistant to date. But in our little chat earlier, you said B275 is a, a non-issue. Why? The Centaurus has been holding back its reins, and I thank God for that. Because BA275 supposedly be more transmissible, and we saw that acting out in South Asia. But in truth, 275 wasn't an issue, not in Singapore, not worldwide. It over it was responsible for about 0.5% of worldwide infections. So in, in other words, the current strain, the BA5, is holding itself very well against the BA275. Rather, with other variants that are now trying to outgun and outrun the BA5. And BA275 is history for the moment. Dr. Leong, we've got, of course, the F1 event coming up this weekend and borders lifting, reopening uh, all over the world uh, here as well. Uh, are you expecting to see a surge or are we already seeing a surge? We are really seeing a surge. And if you look at it from the beginning of September to now, the numbers have been rising. And remember, we started having masks down, masks down, bottoms up. And of course, infection rates go up. This is expected. And mind you, it is not just about the mask down. Number two, you all remember as your immunity after the last infection goes away, it fades with time. You are predisposed to having infections again. And this, we had a big peak about two to three months ago. We are now have a new pool of people whose immunity has come down from the last infection and is ready to fall sick again. But there's no cause for panic because at this point in time, our sick patients, the very sick ones who require intensive care, hospitalization, we don't see a rise yet. Number two, we have actually a lot of oral medications. If you are entitled to taking oral medications more than 60 years old with chronic illnesses, please see your family doctor. Get the medications from there and it will help you. Uh, let's uh, continue to talk about that reinfection rate. Uh, for those who have already had COVID, what do they need to know about reinfection from the different strains of COVID? Uh, and does this make for a more severe infection the second time round? And then also, where does that new bivalent vaccine come into the picture? Very pertinent question. So if you've been infected with Omicron or COVID in the past, in about one to three months later, you can be reinfected again. Now, if your immunity is good, you have been a healthy individual, no chronic illnesses as such, your next infection is not expected to be worse off than your first infection. In other words, you should do quite well. However, if you have chronic illnesses such as heart problems, diabetes, kidney issues, etc., your next infection could be just as bad as the first one or possibly worse because every infection is a major stress on your system, your body it may not be able to take it and your whole engine in F1 speak may just collapse and then be in trouble. So normal individual, you should be fine. The next one might even be better. But if you have chronic illnesses, it might just trash your engine and you'll be out of the race. Uh, Dr. Leong, you then have already... for the next... Yes. Uh, please continue. Sorry for cutting in. Do continue. No, sorry. Okay, we want to talk about the vaccines. The new vaccines coming up available, we have the Moderna 
uh, bivalent where you have the old ancestral strain as well as a BA1 strain. Now, this is not a perfect match because what you really want is a BA4 to BA5 strain uh, match. This will be able to cope with the new variants better because you're dealing with BA5 and the next potential variant, BA4.6. So if you can wait out for the, B, the bivalent BA4 and BA5 vaccine, it will be able to match it. If you can't wait, take whatever's on the market, that will help you. Well, Dr. Leong, uh, you have stressed there is no cause for panic, uh, but even so, uh, can we expect some form of safe management measures in the near future? Maybe not panic level management measures, but some kind of safe management measures. My money is not on that. I think we should be able to cope well thereafter for a few reasons. Number one, we really have a very highly vaccinated population. Number two, many people have been infected before and for the healthy individuals, I mentioned it, you will be fine. Third one, very importantly, we really have oral antiviral agents. In terms of efficacy, you're talking about a 10 times reduction in severity of illness. If the at-risk individuals were to take the oral antiviral agents, it will give you a one-up. You will literally outrace their old self without the oral antiviral agents. So I will strongly encourage everyone to make use of all these lines of defense. And then Singapore will coast along and win ourselves uh, uh, a good outcome for COVID-19. Always good to have you with us, uh, Dr. Leong Ho Nam. He is Infectious Diseases Specialist from Rofi Clinic at Mount Elizabeth Novena Hospital. Thank you.